Well, it sounds like it's out of a sci-fi movie, but scattered across the U.S., including Idaho, are giant concrete arrows that are laid into the ground. Local News 8's Chris Nesman is live in Dubois, where one of the arrows is still intact. So, Chris, what do these arrows look like, and what are they for? Well, Jay, you take a look right next to me. I'm standing next to one of these large concrete arrows. Now, this one was restored recently, hence the yellow paint. They used to all look like that. But these were all built back in the 1920s to help airmail pilots follow their routes to their destinations. Back then, they didn't have navigation equipment, so this was the next best thing. So they put these arrows every 20, 10 to 20 miles apart with beacons to guide the um, airplanes to the right direction because they kept getting lost. These giant arrows and beacons were placed all over the country along key airmail routes in the 1920s. Idaho was one of the last legs installed, but it also was one of the last legs removed after air navigation was invented. You fly by sight back in that day, so they were extremely important to keep the, uh, the planes going in the right direction. Most of the arrows are now destroyed, and in many cases, the towers are gone, too. Beacon stands were taken down for, uh, during World War II because the United States government needed, needed more metal. The Dubois one happens to be one of the last sites entirely intact, a rare find considering it's so close to town. Oh, it's super cool. My friend uh, Karen Engelman and I flew up to Dubois a, a year ago, and we discovered the arrow. and We did a lot of history, and we looked at it. And, and we decided to see if we could preserve it. Now, Kobaya did talk to the Dubois City Council as well as Idaho Aviation Agency and several historical societies to see if he can get this arrow preserved in hopes of keeping it around for future generations. Reporting live from Dubois, I'm Chris Nestman. All, All right. right, thank you, Chris. I, I know that guy. It's a uh... Greg Kovia, excellent photographer. Oh, really? I think that's amazing he's managed to save that. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, and of the dozen or so sites in Idaho, the only other site that is as intact as Dubois is located in the Manida Pass. Right. But that site, site is harder to get to. It's on private land. But uh, Kovia says they hope to restore that piece of history as well. Wow. Cool. Yeah, very Who informative. Knew? Yeah. yeah. Well, coming